typical day for an inspector is pretty much self-directed. You have complaints which take priority. Then there are active drilling and plugging activities that are taken care of. And then just standard well inspections. And pretty much the inspector is free to choose how they wish to handle their day with complaints being priority. There's flexibility in this job. Uh, you can pretty much set your own schedule. There are emergencies that come up that are mandatory requirement you have to go to see, but for the most part, it's a, it's a self-set pace and schedule. Oil and gas inspectors do have home offices, which is convenient and it's kind of unique to the DEP, but uh, you spend most of your time in the field doing inspections at well sites or following up on complaints, and most of the rest of your day would be in the office finishing paperwork, turning in reports, you need to have a minimum of two years of oil and gas experience. One year that could be substituted with a college degree of appropriate background. Our ideal candidate would be someone who has a very good working knowledge of how wells are drilled, how wells are produced. It's, it's good to have a good understanding of what happens when the well's drilled to be able to help with the permitting on this. Working for the state, has been great. There are a lot of benefits that you just don't get anywhere else because the state um, the state allows you to have the time to have a family life over a oil field industry job and that's primarily the people that we look to hire is oil field industry but the the state allows you a 40-hour work week you get to be home with your family. You have holidays and annual leave that you just don't get with industry. This is not a job that you have to worry about uh, industry moving on to the next state and having to either follow them or find another job. This is a job where if drilling stopped tomorrow, you would be able to work until your retirement and not have to be concerned about uh, a job.